హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ సముద్రగుప్త సముద్రగుప్త ద సెకండ్ ఎంప్రయర్ ఆఫ్ ద గుప్తా ఎంపైర్ ఆఫ్ ఆన్షియంట్ ఇండియా ఈస్ రికార్డెడ్ అమాంగ్ ద గ్రేటెస్ట్ రూలర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా హీ రేంగ్ ఫ్రమ్ అరౌండ్ త్రీ థర్టీ ఫైవ్ టు త్రీ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ సిఈ నోన్ యాజ్ ద నెపోలియన్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా ఫార్ హిస్ కాన్క్వెస్ట్ హీ వాస్ ఆల్సో ఎ మ్యాన్ ఆఫ్ మెనీ టాలెంట్స్ అండ్ లైడ్ అ ఫర్మ్ ఫౌండేషన్ ఫార్ ద ఎంపైర్ ఎర్లీ లైఫ్ అండ్ అసెన్షన్ టు ద త్రోన్ born around 318 ce samudra gupta was the son of the gupta emperor chandragupta 1 and the lichavi princess kumara devi some historians suggest that he was not the eldest son and that he was preceded by kacha gupta or kacha who was chandragupta 1's eldest son however the identity of kacha is yet to be established ultimately chandra gupta samudra gupta was able to claim the throne reign and conquests samudra gupta greatly expanded his dynasty's political and military power the alagabad pillar inscription a prashasti eulogy composed by his courser harisena credits him with excessive military conquests he defeated several kings of north indian india and annex their territories into his empire he also marched along the southeastern coast of india advancing as far south as kanchipuram in the pallava kingdom in addition he subjugated several frontier kingdoms and tribal oligarchies at the height of his power his empire under his direct control extended from the ravi river in the west present day punjab to the brahmaputra river in the east present day assam and from the himalayan foothills in the north to central india in the southwest several rulers along the southeastern coast were also his tributaries contributions cultural contributions and personal life samudra gupta was not just a warrior but also a patron of the arts and letters His gold coins and inscriptions suggest that he was an accomplished poet and also played musical instruments such as the veena. He performed the Ashwamedha sacrifice to prove his imperial sovereignty and remained undefeated in battle. Samudra Gupta's reign marked the beginning of the prosperity of the Gupta Empire often referred to as India's golden age. His expansionist policy was continued by his son and successor Chandragupta to his military prowess coupled with his cultural contributions make him one of the most significant rulers in Indian history. Thank you. Bye.